Gee whiz, if we bought compost, we'd need probably like eight tons, probably, because, well, at least four tons, probably, because I want to be able to throw compost on the garden, like thick enough to cover out the weeds in the springtime. Like, the goal is, is to make enough. Sorry, guys, for interrupting this video, but I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on and some other stuff. But thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video because YouTube Record the Hate Speech is like every other independent creator on this platform as of lately because YouTube is stonks unless you're a late night talk show host but if you guys really want to help me and support my channel you can do what is happening right here probably beside my face or where my finger's pointing right there see you can subscribe click the bell and there's some ding dings right there see that, that's pretty but really guys if you want to do that it would really help my channel now let's get into the actual video so hello welcome back to my channel today is saturday and we got plans today one we're gonna go down the woods and get a bunch of leaves from our warm bed and slash my dad's things we can put compost and then we'll make the worm bed ready today and then we're probably going to order worms here maybe today maybe and it'll be here in a couple days hopefully hopefully but anyways guys let's get this started i will cut back a minute so what? hey guys i'm back it's super duper duper windy what are you doing it's super windy out here like really really bad don't ask me why i guess it's the spring flowing in but also, I got other stuff on it. I'm gonna go inside so I can actually talk. Stay outside. No. Guys, as soon as my dad gets ready, we're gonna go down the woods and get like eight bags of leaves. We're gonna get like eight bags of leaves. We are. We are. We are. And then we're gonna order worms. Do you hear something? You take mine. I didn't hear nothing either. <sighs> now I gotta rest. No, we gotta go get dirt for my sweet potatoes. Go get I am it. going to. I'll show you. I'm gonna start watermelons inside. I get to it. Uh, no. Well, I know. See, you got a ways to go yet. Not really. Heck, I could probably plant corn now. No, you can't plant corn. Yeah, I could. No, you can't. As hot as it's been, we could. I know it's gonna get cold. It's gonna get cold. I know. I know, but I'm, I am planting these things in the next week. I'm planting onions and potatoes and stuff next week. Potatoes take the cold really good. They freeze when they come back. Yeah, but they still take the cold. This day needs to plant it, like, now. Okay. The purple lilac and the blueberries and the... Okay. Yeah, well, I have faith in it. Right, Jake? Chicken will just dig up, you know that? No, they won't. I'm not going to let them dig it up. We have to. I'm going to get dirt for, the, for my potatoes and wham, bam. Anyways, guys, also I got other plan. I don't know if I'll get to today or not because it's kind of late since I got so late. Like, what did I say? I got other plans too. I plan to clone the pear tree and. Not today, you're not. Yes, I am! Benny, too early. No, it's not! Benny. No, it's not! Alright, run right, online, you can do it anytime. No, you can't do it. Yes, you can! Time. As long because as you. doing the middle of summer. No. Yes. No. I'm gonna do it now. You don't have the leaves on the tree yet. It doesn't matter! Yes, it does. No, it doesn't! It doesn't matter. You have to scream like a little girl. It doesn't matter! You're annoying. Ah. Anyway, guys, we're going to get like eight bags, at least maybe ten. I don't know how many bags we even have. And then bags that we can carry, we're going to go fill them up with leaves. Yes, I am. We are. No, we can't carry that. I can. I can carry two for hand, probably. We'll just make a couple trips down there. Yeah, there is. No, they didn't. Anyway, guys, I'll come back. I gotta give you some dirt. So, whoop. And I'll come back when we're going down the woods. So, Hi, guys. I'm back. We're going down in the woods to get some leaves. Back, right, chicken? Behind me. He ain't gonna hurt you. He's just gonna go. He attacked me. See, he's looking at the rake. He doesn't care. <laughs> Yet. See, he's fine. I think they know I'm the boss now. Seriously. Yeah, I think they know I'm the boss because I keep. Where are we going? Across the road. How far in the woods we gotta go for these leaves? 
With what? I don't have a wheel bar. That's why we need to get a tire. I need to look at that and see what size tire and stuff older. It's, seriously. When I want to come back for mommy to look at that. I showed you how, but you have to have a really powerful compressor for that. It's not nothing. No, it's not. When we're gonna get, we're gonna fence all this and get cows, right? We can put a cow or two here, probably. Yeah. The guy that I was watching, he's talking about instead of moving all the animals around all at once, he said just throw all the animals into a giant acreage and let them go to town and get like four, get like forty chickens, like ten cows and goats, and just let them all be together. And just let them roam the whole thing, eat whatever they want. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Jake, we're going this way. Jake! Gee. What? That red thing? Is it a tree or is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Where are all these leaves that we got to go to? Mm -hmm. Where are this? That's it? Like that ain't enough. That ain't enough to even worry about it. Not Usually the place is covered in leaves. Uh, well, there's some there, but that ain't really enough to mess with either. That ain't really enough to mess with. It's not... You're only gonna get like one or two bags. Yep. If that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more down there on the hillside. Time up to a tree. Oh Time up God. to a tree. Well, here's our leaf journey to begin to get worms, I guess. Guys, I will come back a little bit. So, oh. hi guys, I'm back. You probably came here because this wind is ridiculous. Maybe if we. Stand this way, maybe I don't know. Put the microphone down a little bit so the wind doesn't catch it. Anyways, guys, so we did a lot today. Me and what I did, we've been last time we saw movies down the wood, well, not really the wood woods, but we went into the brush a little bit there to get some leaves. We got two big bags of leaves, which I was wanting to get more. I was wanting to get like, well, the leaves aren't really there because uh, I thought they was gonna be there after winter, but they already decomposed from winter and stuff. So that's was a bad idea. Well, it wasn't a bad idea. But look at this. The garden looks nice. I gotta come through here with the medic and dig out all this stuff around the fence edges because it doesn't get dug up with the rotor because you can't get close enough. Gotta come do that. But what else we did is we came back, we put up the worm bed, worm bin with worm uh not worms. We're gonna get worms pretty soon. I would want to get them order them tonight but maybe maybe we'll see when we order them i'm not sure but we cleaned up the chicken house because it needed it bad and we've been neglecting it for a while well not neglecting it like it wasn't like <laughs> they wasn't be take care of anything but they just needed it cleaned out get we try to do it like once a month in the summertime not so much in the winter we'll probably do it once a winter once in the winter months so once every three months but because they can't really get out in the winter time because there's a lot of snow and stuff and yeah but <laughs> We put one bag of leaves up here and a half, like a quarter of a barrel of compost that we had that was like almost decomposed, been there for a while. So shouldn't hurt them. They should turn into nice worm castings when we get to worms. Didn't water it yet. I'm going to water it probably when we get to worms or maybe the day before they come or when we order them. But this bad boy is filled with all kinds of goodies. Has Right now it just has almost finished, like basically get finished compost. It's like 99% done. Shouldn't heat up any. And then like six inches of uh, leaves and then wood, wood. Six inches, like there's little sticks in front of the woods because we couldn't get this, all the little sticks out. But it should be good. I think they will love it. And now we just need a worm. This bad boy's all filled with capacity. After that, we cleaned the chicken house, like I said. Made more compost because we always need more compost on the farm. <laughs> we need a, we need like, we we'll probably need like, Gee whiz, if we bought compost, we'd need probably like eight tons, probably, because 
well at least four tons probably because i want to be able to throw compost on the garden like thick enough to cover out the weeds in the springtime like the goal is is to make enough worm castings every year one more bit is gonna do but i'd probably get like two or three but once that gets to capacity we're gonna make another one at least i plan to another full bait bed split about half of them put them in that bed and after they're full, split it again, make like four or five, and just keep going until we get probably 10, maybe. Well, I don't know about 10. I'll say five would be good. And then all summer long, when you're really making food, because they're probably gonna make much in the wintertime, when you're making a bunch of compost, pile it up into a big pile out here next to the garden, pile it up. And at the end of the year, we'll make warm tea out throughout the year. We'll, buy thick, we'll make warm tea out throughout the year when we need extra fertilizer or whatever. And in the end, and then let's sit there all winter probably. And in the spring, well, in the winter time, we're gonna pull all plant, not pull them out, just chop them off at ground level because you're not supposed to disturb the roots too much or anything like that. Chop them off, throw out a bunch of cover crops, we'll let them sit there throughout the winter. Summertime, mow it down, like take a mower through, like a mulching mower, mow it down, and then cover it with uh, compost slash form castings. Oh yeah, here's the other bag we got. These, these are two big bags of compost we got. But, as I was saying, the other thing I did was turn this thing, because I haven't turned it in a while, and watered it, because I needed it. You should turn it about once a week. We don't turn it that much. We're used to using, uh, we're used to making compost out of leaf mold, which you can just leave there for a while, and it'll just decompose stuff. But this stuff needs more air, like this woody stuff, this hay and stuff from the compost, from the, from the chickens. They love this stuff, by the way. <laughs> I can't use that for the worms because I don't trust I don't trust the hay we get from the store. I could go get hay out of the woods because we got a bunch of hay bales down there that they've left over the years. There's like probably 20 hay bales down the woods I could grab. But I thought leaves would be better because it's more natural and you get all the minerals from the trees and stuff and it just should be great. And then we have some compost to not... Where are these two doing? Why are they fighting? Hey! Hey! What are they fighting for? Stop it. Both of you. Stop it. But like I said, I need to come through and get a weed ear out. We need all this grass on the outside and dig in the stuff on the inside. Because the roadhouse couldn't get it. And this stuff, I need to weed eat around the summertime too. Because it's just, it's going to be the same problem we had up there. Whenever we don't take it out, it's going to just throw, grow up into stuff. But, as I was saying, I want enough compost to cover the garden. Which will probably be about, I don't know, I'll probably say. Like, I really want, I want to expand the garden too. I want to make like two more three more plots i think because i want one plot for like this where we could just grow like whatever close to the house maybe maybe if we get two three more plots i'll make this plot a herb slash cold weather garden or half will be herbs either half will be hey 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 leave him alone hey roosters i got you stop it leave him alone stop it stop <laughs> leave him alone He's already hurting because of you guys. You already pick on him all the time. Yeah, I'm watching you. Not you. You don't hurt no one. Yeah. But that would be the goal, guys. Is make everything on the farm ourselves so we don't have to use any other inputs and stuff. And we always need more compost because we always want to make... Oh, as I was saying, what I want to do with the with the new garden beds, I'm going to put them down here. Down here, next to the road, it's super nice down there and have an orchard right next to it would be pretty cool but as of right now we have one garden but like i said if we ever make two or three more garden beds like that would be i want one for corn like 20 by 30 plus this is if we ever want to go like all make our own food and stuff not right now we're not but maybe eventually make grow on more food but we want like a 20 by 30 foot for probably corn one for tomatoes slash peppers one for that'd be two and we have one more for potato. We'd have to have four more plots. We'd have to have, and then we'd have to have one for squash, like vining squash and pumpkins and, and stuff like that. So that'd be four more plots down there. All twenty by like twenty, or maybe thirty by thirty. I don't know. Thirty by thirty seems pretty big. Maybe forty by forty. I don't know. But that would be the the thing. And then you could just switch them all around, different plots every year, plant different things. But then if you do that, you'd need more compost because. That's what they've never been. Well, they used to have plant a long time ago. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll cut back a little bit. So, hi, oh. guys, I'm back. You ready for 700 worms? What? 700 pounds of compost a month? 
Uh, oh, my knife. I did not dull your knife. What did I do to it? What? Anyways, guys, we're cutting up seed potatoes that we bought, and we have these old potatoes from last year, which I don't know if they're going to grow or not, but they should. Mm -hmm. They're just little tiny potatoes. We don't really get big potatoes from them or not, but they're Yukon Gold from last year, and we got, I want to get like a 10 pound bag of red potatoes, and we should be good to go, right? Right, right. What are you doing? What are you trying to cut my. Huh, huh, huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Guys, we might plant. I might plant potatoes. What did I just step on? I have no idea what that was. We might plant potatoes in the next three days. We gotta let them hill up. And of course, it's pouring rain now, so it's too wet for them to be planted right now. So nice, it's pouring rain down. Also, I don't know if I, I can't really show you this, but we have tell them about the worms in the garden, in the yard. The yeah, all over the place. Yep. Tell them about it. They're all over the place. God, we we went there to put the chickens away because. Hindsight, we actually forgot the first time ever to put the chickens away. It was super dark when we went up, and <laughs> thankfully nothing ate the chickens. But we went up there, and we had the light with us, and we shone a light in the ground because it rained there all over the place. Night crawls all over the place. Just, sh you turn the light, and sh you see like 50 of them shooting to the ground. They're all over the place, all over the garden. They're everywhere. All over the yard, all over the yard especially everywhere, if they're near the chicken house. Huh? Especially if they're near the chicken house. Yeah. Where, where are they? Where? <laughs> I don't know. We had a huge population explosion. Yeah. Maybe we don't need chicken poo. Yeah, I bet you it is because they're all over the place. Yeah. I bet you. Man, they went everywhere. We saw like probably two, three hundred of them. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Do you tell them we're going to get worms maybe tomorrow? Yeah, I don't know. What we're maybe doing. tomorrow we might order them and they might be here in like I three days. Them. Yes, because I got it already. You need money. Son. Well, this will be money. You just look at this one. We can take worms. No, listen. We can take that sixty-five dollar. Listen to me. Listen to me. We can take that. Listen. Are you listening? Listen to me. We could take that sixty-five dollars and turn it to three hundred pounds of potatoes and sell them. The worm castings. We could eat three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds worth. How about corn? You could grow a whole bunch of corn with it. Or a whole bunch of tomatoes, or a whole bunch of zucchini. I don't know about zucchini because the bugs are bad, but we could grow a whole bunch of zucchini, a whole bunch of potatoes. You grow a whole bunch of I know. I don't know what the hell what, what happened last year. It was just I bad. Had three years I haven't had. We haven't had no freaking bug problems. It was bad. I don't know. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll come back. Anyways, I'm gonna. We're not using chemicals. We're trying to be organic now. Yeah, it's not working. And yeah, <laughs> and no till. I'm gonna try no till next year. Hopefully, my plan is is to take all the worm castings this year, pile it up next to the garden, and then keep it there, and then throw it on it when we need it in the spring or probably in well probably this year I'll throw it on at the end of the year, and then plant rye into it, and then tarp it in the spring, and then next year hopefully, and also after about a year I can I'll be swarming worms. After a year they'll be up to capacity. We could take half them out. Throw them in another bed. Take and then three months later they'll make double in size. Put them in another bed. I can have 10, 20 worm beds. Yeah. And what are you gonna do with all these worms? Compost. Sell them for fish bait. I don't know. All kinds. Of, we could sell the castings too. Put up a sign and be like worm castings. And they have big. What they get? A big bulldozer mover. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But we could. You never know because it expands exponentially if you keep building worm beds for them. If they can survive the winter, we'll have to see about that one. Yeah, yeah, they will. Like you said, you're going to keep some inside just to keep them alive. Yeah. Just a little bit of them. Well, small, we're going to let them out there and. Small operation inside. Yeah, we're going to keep them out there all and then bring some in in the wintertime. But the the worm, the eggs will survive. It'll take a few weeks in the spring for them to get going again, to hatch out and come back to life. Yeah. And I wish I would have showed you guys the worm bed that we have. We have it full of leaves and full of compost. And I wish I would have showed you guys before with a little bit on it. But didn't think far enough ahead. Anyways, guys, I'll cut back. I'm going to vlog. So, hey, guys, I'm back up. I got to call my mom to sleep because she came up from work. But uh, I say that now. I'm really low. Anyway, guys, did a lot today. Fixed the gate. I didn't even tell you that. I fixed our gate because our gate was all messed up because it was really loose. Fixed the worm farm up. Got a bunch of leaves from the woods. See how well that goes. Added compost to it. Cleaned up the chicken house. Did all kinds of stuff. We're ready for worms. And we should be getting them maybe tomorrow. I might order them tomorrow if I can convince my mom to do it. 
Cause who knows? Yes, I will. Well, we won't give them tomorrow. We're going to order them tomorrow. And they'll be here in like two or three days or whatever. And then after that, we're going to plant onions. Maybe tomorrow. Onions, maybe tomorrow. Potatoes, three or four days. Because then one potatoes are pretty bad looking. And they need to plant it soon because we let them all winter. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Whoop, roll the outro. Hi, guys. I'm back. If you made it this far, I want to say a big thank you because watching a lot of my videos like this, if you watch to the end, leave something below, like banana or lemon, or leave, leave your favorite fruit below if you watch this far. Well, it'll be our little secret. To anyone who doesn't watch to the end, you won't know what's happening in the comments. One, because comments are good for the algorithm, and two, watching to my videos and it's good for the algorithm. So if you guys want to do that, it'll be awesome. Also, there's videos here, here, and here. There's two bits on my face, and then there's my channel to click underneath my face to subscribe. That'd be great also. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my video, I will talk to you guys in the next video.